He rose to fame because of his burger joint NBCB. Now, he is seen everywhere online. Tommy owns a spacious four-room maisonette with his wife and they have not just one, but two kids. How abing is this self-professed abing in front of his kids? Knock, knock, knock. You owe us a house tour, Tommy. So if I were to describe Tommy, I would use the words cool, suave and YOLO. And I'm expecting to see colours, neon lights and maybe some electric guitars in this place. But then I found out he's a dad who bought and renovated this entire place catered for his kids. So does this house still reflect parts of Tommy or is it entirely a kindergarten? Let's find out. Oh look! He got parcels! Delivery! What you buy? Thank ah? you. Hello! Hello, I'll tell you. <laughs> come, 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 come. Wow! Wow! Is this for Feng Shui? No, la, this one for my kids. What do you mean, like they wanted to buy it? They went for fishing, then after that they wanted to keep the fish. Okay. So that when we brought it home, the fish died. So they were very sad, they wanted new fish. So I bought the tank and the goldfish here. Yeah. 好爸爸, so when it comes to this house, what is your contribution? Money. How papa? And my green sofa. Your green sofa? Yeah. Bro, that's not green. It's green. We're gonna take a look. Okay. That's not green. It's green, okay? On the website it's green. <laughs> okay, please tell me you paid less than 1k for this. Oh, this one cost me like almost 4000 dollars <laughs> The contributions you made to this house was the money. Yes. And this couch. Correct. Anything else? Uh, maybe the clock over there. Okay. <laughs> Actually, how big is this space? This space is about 1,006 square feet. Oh, that's quite spacious. Yeah. And how much do you pay for it? Uh, during that time was COVID, lah, so I think that JD was quite desperate to sell. So I paid about 520-ish. That's quite reasonable, I'd say. It's very cheap. Very cheap. Very cheap. Then your renovation, do you pay a lot of money? Because it was a tear down and rebuild, so I think it cost slightly a bit more, but it's probably around 90,000. Oh, uh, but you're probably sponsored, right? No. Eh. Unlike other people, I pay for my own stuff. So nothing in the house is sponsored? Got lah, the TV. <laughs> <laughs> now have Ah, uh, the water dispenser. <laughs> la. <laughs> What's the main difference you think, like staying with parents and like moving out on your own? I guess uh, you'll be more responsible for the upkeep and things. Usually when you stay with your parents, it's just your room. Right? Right. Now it's just magnified. The whole house is yours. So even a small stain, you'll feel like, wow, damn cow oh. You want to go clean it. Hey, this is a side to Tommy that I never expected to see. Why? Like, Why? I would think you're more sui xing so yu, which means that you're more carefree, you do whatever you want. But the thing is, I'm also still very sui xing so yu, mm. which you will see in my room. Oh, you have a man cave? Yes, yes. Oh my god, looking forward to that. But first, take me around the living room. Tell me more about this place. Uh, when we were planning this living room, we wanted it to be very open. That's why you'll see there's no like uh, coffee table, no nothing. Mm -hmm. It's more for a space for the family to hang out. But uh, after that, I went to my friend's house and I realised that eh, everyone got playpen. Yeah, so Should I we? decided that okay, they need a playpen. But this playpen like not much space for them to play. Eh? So initially it was very empty. Maybe right? because you know, as they grow up, got birthday, people give gifts. So end up this one become their storeroom. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> you know, happy kids, happy life. I believe in that as well. As long as the whole family is happier than the men, generally is is the best solution. Yeah. But what about the kitchen? Let's go take a look. Yes, let's go. So this is my kitchen. Same thing, we wanted it to be very open mm. so that the kids can run around. Mm. Yeah. Well, I think like there's a lot of things in your house that are like clashing with your identity. Like look at that. That duck and that frog. I mean, it's super cute. It's art and stuff, right? Like when I was young, I used to do that also. These are memories of mm. my family. La, but my identity is in the fridge. Hey, show me, man. Come. So over here uh -huh. is my favourite drink. All the tea. Oh my god! <laughs> How much do you love this? I really enjoy drinking it. Uh. Although it's very unhealthy, I don't recommend to people with diabetes. You know, end of the day, I, I if I like something, I will buy a lot. So other than these two shelves, the rest has nothing to do with me. But well, at least you got two shelves. At yes, least you yes, got yes. two shelves. We have like salmon here, already chopped up. All pre-cut. You did this? No, no, my help. Yeah. Okay. My contribution to this family is purely financial. <laughs> <laughs> So are you the good cop or the bad cop in the family? I'm, I got forced to take on the bad cop role. Parenting now is a bit hard because it's not like last time, right? Last time just whack me. Unfortunately, sometimes kids need discipline. It's better that sometimes the guy play the role of the, the bad guy. Lo. Have you ever hit them? Violence is not the answer to all the problems. <laughs> Wise words from Tommy and BC. But threatening okay. is. <laughs> Shall we take a look at your room? Okay, let's go. Alright. Five bare bricks? 
Are these all the fabrics you have? Uh, I still got two more lah, but it's in my room. No space to put. Wow, rich people problems, man. But some of them is like gifts for my friends. Which is your favorite? One, two, three, four, five. I think the coke, cause I like coke. Men are so simple. I love that. <laughs> so this is where I sleep. Your kids sleep with you? Currently, they sleep with us. Oh, so many parents don't want their kids to sleep with them. Like, why do you decide to have a kid sleep with you? It's more like my wife's decision. Nah. She missed the kids. Nah. Oh. So since they are young, got chance they still want to sleep with us, we sleep together. Oh. So they, the two of them will sleep together on one bed? Correct. Sometimes we, me and my wife will be lying in the bed. Then they will be like baby talk. Two of them down there talking before they fall asleep. Then you will listen to everything that they say. Yeah, so they will talk like Then they start playing fingers and all that kind of thing. So it's quite funny. Okay, so question. You are sleeping in such close proximity. How do you and your wife spend like intimate time? You know? I don't care, the audience are really... Really or not? They don't understand anyway. Anyway, it's education. I saw the parents teach. <laughs> what? This must be your wife's idea. No, this is actually my idea. <gasps> I think for a woman, mm. uh, it's one of the things that they are very proud of. Then when Bro. they see it, right? You are right. It's a good motivation for mm. her to remember why she has to work so hard. This is so thoughtful, Tommy. Again, this is one side I never saw of you on social media. <laughs> okay, so question. If there was a fire in this place, right? Mm. Would you take this and run or your fabric and run? If you can only choose one. I'll take my Rolex and run. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we've seen so much about your house, but I want to know where do you go to when you need some me time? Me time? Yeah. Toilet. Hey! <laughs> Do you have a man cave that belongs to you? I won't call it a man cave lah. I'll call it like my office space lah. Okay, not man cave, office space. I'll take it. Office Show space. me. Let's go. Okay, so this is where I escape from reality. Yo, that's dedication right there. You have a fridge for your teas. Because I really enjoy it lah. But because one of the problem with staying in a masonette is that you have to keep go up and down. Uh... So some of my creature comfort, I will keep it within reach. Are you sponsored? No. I pay you for guys everything. Should sponsor him, okay? Yes. I need a new car. Also. <laughs> <laughs> are kids a lot in this room? Usually they are not, but they will try their best to come in. Because this is really my space. If you watch my video, a lot of the things are done here. So I try to keep this space separate from the family. Hey, your mirror like small. Enough for you or not? Enough, enough. It's not exactly a mirror, it's like a polish material. Mm. So it doesn't break. So if let's say anything happens, if it falls off, it won't create a you know, dangerous oh, situation for the, the kids. The glass right? shards yeah. and stuff like that. Right. Now bro, that's what I call a green chair, okay? That is green. That is a light green chair. That was <laughs> a teal sofa, different. So this is where you get most of the work done? This is where I spend a lot of my time planning videos, meeting, you know, doing my business stuff. Yeah, la. Watch things that I cannot tell you. Uh, Okay, so this space is like my chill space, la, right? So when it gets too noisy outside, mm. I will come here sometimes just to sit down and relax and escape from my wife. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you have a karaoke machine? Yeah, so a lot of things were planned during COVID because we were expecting to stay at home for a very long time. I think I only use it like three, four times. Oh. Yeah. Because with kids, uh, there's no time for you to go and do all this activity. A lot of things here are from maybe my younger time. When I was younger, I couldn't afford. So it's like, I just buy a lot. Like I got Nintendo Switch, I got PlayStation, but I don't have time to play. Oh, so this is when you dry your hair, you do your makeup, stuff yeah, like that? Yeah, because in my own bedroom, that there's no space, you oh. see already. So for me to do my own personal... Upkeep, Grooming? Yes, so I do my mask here. Wow. Oh, what are these? These are actually some of the bare bricks that I have that no space to display lah, right? Because HDB is so small, a thousand five square feet can put what? You tell me. Like your five bare bricks outside. Yeah, but I want to put eight. <laughs> oh, what is this? This is actually my abs roller. Yo, serious? Correct. Because somebody told me, right, men must have abs. So I bought this thing to do abs. So how many abs you have? Currently one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, challenge. Can Tommy and the CB do 20 in 60 seconds? Can. Come, I time you. But I need to put the system. Not my leg very pain. Oh. <laughs> okay, go. Wow. Hey, go, 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 go. So guys, uh, this thing is currently on offer. So if you buy it right now, right, it's about 29.90 and we'll give you a free exercise mat. Okay, but you have to do by payment, by Visa and uh, MasterCard. Hey, I'm late, I'm late. <laughs>